Hello, this video is being presented by Sigma Design, and today we'll show the techniques used to cut, weld, and finish a miter joint from square tubing. For this demonstration, we will be working with a 2 by one 8 wall polished 3 or 4 stainless square tubing. This joint will be made using the gas tungsten arc welding process. To weld this joint, we will be using a Lincoln Aspect 375 machine. The electrode will be 1.5% lanthanated tungsten shielded with 100% argon. Filler metal used will be 3x32-300L stainless steel. Cutting structural shapes for industrial frames, the best option is a water-cooled horizontal bandsaw. We use a .042 6 to 10 teeth per inch blade cooled with a water-based synthetic lubricant. Then, remove burrs using an angle grinder with a contaminant free flap disc. After removing all the burrs from cutting, wipe down all of the surfaces with acetone. This removes any remaining films from the coolant and any other greases or oils. Whenever possible, a fixture table like this is recommended to hold the piece's planner, then fixed at a 90 degree angle. Prior to seam welding, the joint should be tack welded at the four corners. This allows you to build a structure and prevent excess warpage during the welding process. The joint is in seam welding. The welder must take care that they are properly fusing the joint and connecting each weld fully. When making a frame or other structure, weld sequencing is a necessity. A visual inspection of the weld should show properly sized weld with good fusion, free of any surface discontinuities. For sanitation grade finishing, we start with grinding the butt and outside corners weld to flush. Use the angle grinder, this time with a 120 grit sanding disc with a plastic backing. With light pressure, grind with the weld, not across it, to create a flat surface. Take care not to gouge the base metal. Using a rotary trim sander, such as the fine WPO 1425E, we can blend the weld joint with the rest of the material. A piece of flashing or thin sheet metal can be used to protect the adjacent tube. And just like that, you have a seamless joint on stainless steel. Thank you for watching, and please remember to visit Sigma Design at www.sigmadesign.net to see all the engineering and manufacturing capabilities we offer.